and welcome to my kitchen and we're gonna make a salad I you see three things on my counter you see a couple of oranges which are honey bells and we were lucky enough to get those this year excellent they only are in season for about three weeks out of the year in January so the citrus truck came on Monday and we got ourselves a case so a couple of honey bells red onion and jicama if you are not familiar with jicama I suggest you introduce yourself. Jicama is lovely. And there's a little story behind this salad. I'm going to break down the jicama while I tell you the story. Okay, jicama is like if you took a potato and a radish and an apple and you mixed them all together. Okay, and I got this jicama off of the produce markdown rack because it's got this big split in it, but I don't care. We'll just trim it up, okay? Um, when I was in college and I went and was in, um, in Tucson, Arizona, I was in the hotel restaurant management program. And I belonged to the hotel restaurant management club. It was the HMM club. Um, and it was a it was a almost a required club and this jicama is very tough so I might actually have to get out a paring knife anyway don't put this down your garbage disposal yes don't <laughs> even if it's new in college um, the hotel restaurant management club every year had a fundraiser and it was called The Happening and it was a once a year gala that was put on by the hotel restaurant management students um, at the college and you were assigned certain duties and things to do and then on the day of the event everybody had to go and um, oh I see why this is actually waxed mm -hmm. I've never seen yeah. that before um, uh, everyone had to participate in the preparation of the food. I mean, we, we, we had our hands in everything from, from the, um, the menu planning to the, uh, to the decorations, the theme, everything. We had our hands in all of it. The, the whole premise was really to get the ball rolling and, and help us decide what area we wanted to really focus on as far as a career path went. Um, well, once I got inside that hotel kitchen, there was no turning back. Um, I actually was fortunate enough to have professional kitchen experience growing up. My very first job was working in a, at a country club, setting tables for um, banquets and such, and just their regular breakfast and dinner service. So from the time I was 13, I, you know, we had to be at the country club at six o'clock in the morning to do that stuff and then we had to go back but anyway back to the other story in uh, in college and one of the events that I helped to organize I uh, one of the dishes that we served that night was a jicama salad with orange and red onion and I never had jicama before in my life but I'll tell you what, when you, when you get to cook in a professional kitchen and you get to be exposed to things that you've never ever been exposed to before in your life and you get all these new tastes and textures and you get your hands on all new ingredients, the world really opens up to you in a serious way. And um, this salad, aside from my mother um, exposing me to so many different wonderful things in the culinary world. Um, this salad is really the first thing that opened my eyes to the world of food around me and made me want to cook more. So it's really a very simple salad and it's delicious and it really it's three ingredients and we're going to give it a little splash of uh, vinegar. Put that in third. Hmm? Okay, in the what this one? Oh, this, this one. This one. How much do you want? Just cut in three. 
Okay. One for me and one each for the torch. <laughs> I love jicama. It's tried. got an interesting taste. It's crispy. Mm. It's got the texture of an apple or a pear. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of sweetness to it. It's got a little starchiness to it, like a potato. And it's really different. Um, huh? But basically, what we're going to do, and it's a cruciferous fish, it's also a root, but after you chew it for a couple of minutes, you know, when you put it in your mouth and you eat it, you actually do have that um, cruciferous vegetable flavor in your mouth, so it's got a little bit of a... Uh, there's really no way to explain what it tastes like. It's a little bit sweet. It's mild. Not uh, bad. You can do a couple of things with this. Um, you can do what I'm doing, which is just sort of julienning it. Or you can grate it. You can use this in um, a slaw. It's really lovely in a slaw. Right here. A little piece is probably better. Okay, then we're going to take a half of a large red onion and just slice it really thin. And use red onion in this particular salad because it's not as bitey as a yellow onion. Um, the dahlias are not out yet. I would use those in a heartbeat. Um, but typically you're not going to find Vidalias in the southwest. Um, and this is where I first had this salad. Of course, this is a hands-on deal, so don't be afraid to get your hands in there and mix that up, okay? Another really nice addition to this is some chopped parsley or some chopped fresh cilantro. If you have it on hand, if you don't, don't worry about it, just go with it. This is the, the reason that we're having this tonight is because we found the jicama on the markdown rack and it was a dollar and I snagged it up and I went, I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. If you want to spram an orange, and that just means to segment the orange and take it away from, I'm not going to waste that juice though, and take it away from the membrane, okay? you're going to take your very sharp knife and peel it all the way around just like this and these honey bells are incredibly juicy you need a roll of paper towels if you eat one and you can't really eat it by, by pulling it apart like an orange. You kind of have to cut it into smiles, which is what I always called it with my kids. Um, this is how you supreme an orange, okay? Once you have the peel taken off of it, you're going to just separate it from its membrane, just like that. Think about when you, when you slice into a grapefruit and you have to segment the grapefruit. This is removing the, uh, the orange from that pithy membrane. This is also, I believe, what Cat's Cradle does when she cans her citrus. I think she supremes them also. This could also be considered segmenting, but um, segmenting to me is simply pulling the segments apart. Mm -hmm. Trust me, this is all going to be worth it in the end. We've got that really lovely sandwich in the oven that's baking, and that's what we're going to have this with. So this is going to be a nice, refreshing, acidic side. Now, we've separated all of those segments there. Don't let that juice go to waste. And we'll take care of this one over here. I'm sure you <laughs> I'm just going to put a couple tablespoons of lime juice in here, okay? We've got the orange juice in there already. There we go. And I am going to hit it with some olive oil. Just to give it a little richness. Not a lot. 
probably not even a tablespoon. And then I'm going to grab a spoon and mix it you and serve it with it. what? You should have used some. I could have. You know what? I still can. I'm going to give it a squirt of hemp oil as well. Good reminder that Rick gave me. Hemp oil is extremely healthful and uh, everybody should be putting it in their salad dressing. Delicious. Now we're going to hit this with, almost forgot, whoops, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt, and pepper. Of course this is all to taste. Cracked black pepper is an excellent accompaniment to this salad. And it's very refreshing. I'm going to hit that with a little bit of salt. The salt is necessary because everything in here is very flat. I mean, the onion is going to be a little sharp, but not a whole lot of paprika. Not even a half a teaspoon. Just, just enough that you know that it's in there. I'm going to put some garlic powder in here. And I think I'll skip the onion powder, so. No nutmeg? No nutmeg, not today. And that right there, like I said, you could put um, some fresh cilantro chopped up in there. Fresh basil would even be good. Oregano, parsley, whatever you choose, it's going to be great. So, I'm going to have Rick taste this. Because I, I don't I don't know if he's a skeptic or not. Let me grab a fork. That's pretty good. I made this once. Um, my dad really likes this salad. There. You have to get a bite of everything. The orange, the onion, and the jicama. It's, it's good. It is really good, isn't it? It is. Mm-hmm. Mm. Surprisingly really good. It's mm -hmm. Oh, that is so good. Mm -hmm. Really give this salad a try. I'm not kidding. It's amazing. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. I hope you forgive me for my full mouth. Thank you so much for coming and joining me in my kitchen today. Until next time, I'll see ya.